According to Stats Canada, nearly 40% of marriages will end in divorce. Many have offered an interpretation for this startling fact. Some theories propose that this is the result of the changing role women are playing in society, while others claim that it is the product of both the accessibility and acceptability of the divorce process itself. But a 2008 article in Scientific American offers quite a different theory. This article claims that hormonal birth control may be the culprit. Definitely a compelling idea, one that warrants further examination. Motivated by the good gene sexual selection theory, a 2007 study by Gangstead and his colleagues explored the changes in women's mate preference across the ovulatory cycle. This theory states that individuals prefer to mate with partners that possess attributes that would indicate heritable fitness and consequently higher quality offspring. When women were in their most fertile period of their cycle, they were shown to demonstrate preferences to traits generally associated with short-term pairings, good gene indicators like physical attractiveness and social dominance, while at all other times, preference was directed at those males illustrating traits associated with more long-term pairings, indicating better parental investment, for example, loyalty and willingness to provide investment in parental care. So the type of men women choose fluctuate with where they are in their ovulatory cycle and have evolved to instinctually make advantageous decisions regarding mates and potential offspring based on this. But what does hormonal birth control have to do with anything? First, let's look at the method behind the pill. It essentially works by preventing ovulation. By introducing synthetic hormones that mimic the way real estrogen and progestins work, the body is tricked into believing that it is already pregnant and in turn does not ovulate. No egg, no pregnancy. But wait, no ovulation? How could this possibly be a problem? We have just seen that in this situation, women choose mates that are weighted towards better parental investment. Surely this is a good thing. It is known that humans and other animals are sensitive to scent cues that are indicative of the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC, when selecting a mate. MHCs are a large gene family found in most vertebrates and play an important role in the immune system and autoimmunity. These proteins are broken down in our bodies and detectable as scent cues through a number of ways, such as sweat and urine. Since greater variability in genes is going to produce more viable offspring by increasing resistance to infectious diseases, selecting a mate with genes most dissimilar to you is adaptively essential. Moreover, a similar MHC may also indicate a potential relative, making sensitivity to this cue a critical way of avoiding inbreeding. Supported by other studies examining this, Roberts and colleagues at the University of Newcastle looked into how oral contraceptives can influence a female's preference between scent cues of similar and dissimilar mates. Using plain white t-shirts worn for two days by a group of males, women were then asked to smell the shirts and asked which they preferred. It was found that women free of hormonal contraceptives tended to favor shirts worn by MHC dissimilar males, as they should, while those who were on the pill chose MHC similar males, speculated as a way to draw pregnant women toward nurturing relatives. Women have evolved to use instinctual methods of producing the healthiest offspring. However, if they have impaired their choice of mate by weighting parental investment higher than those qualities associated with good genes theory, it is then plausible that the relationship may prove to be sexually dissatisfying. The risk to marriage is then this. Once going off hormonal contraception, women potentially experience a change in desire for their mate, perhaps even turning their preference toward men who possess a better MHC match, particularly when they are fertile. Consequently, these women may begin to question their marriage and are at an increased risk for infidelity. While the more popularized theories previously mentioned rationalize the breakdown of marriages, the effect hormonal birth control may be having on our evolved and instinctual ability to choose in the first place is undeniable. Further research may be required to investigate the extent of this effect, but in the meantime, it may just be something to consider when accepting that invitation for a first date.